Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Health at Home with Dr. Michelle, where we take different health topics and try and look at them in new and different ways. And then I give you action items and things you can implement at home to start working on those items right away. So our topic today is going to be strength. And we're going to be talking about strength in a couple different ways. Um, the title is Strong Mind, Strong Body. And that title is very deliberate because I'm gonna show you how when you have a strong mind and you exercise a strong mind, you can actually result in a strong body as well. Strong mind and strong body. What exactly does that mean? Well, when we're dealing with a strong mind, this is not a new idea. The idea of strengthening our minds has been one of those things that kind of comes around under the circle of the sun. You know, that old saying, there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're going back as far as 1910 to look at some original research by a French psychologist and pharmacist that developed a type of psychotherapy based on auto-suggestion. So again, the idea that we can program our mind to make our body do things is not a new idea. Um, and if anyone is familiar with Silva's work, which we'll get into in a minute, he bases a lot of his stuff off of, I believe it's Emile because it's French, but I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name because I don't speak French. Um, so we can call him Emile C. So he did a lot of really interesting work where he actually opened up a free clinic in 1910 and he used mental techniques to treat patients from all over the world with everything from rheumatism to severe headaches to asthma to even limb paralysis and tumors and ulcers. And what he found is that he had such remarkable success um, with just these simple mental techniques. I love this case study in particular, this, this case study number four, because this really does show how even just the way that we think about things that we're already doing can transform the way our bodies react. So in 2007, they did a study where basically they took all these hotel room attendants. So these are the people who do all the physical labor and they clean up after things and they get the room all ready and nice. Um, and they, they're involved in a lot of strenuous activity. But when they did a survey of these people, they realized that two thirds of them decided that they were unhealthy because they figured that they didn't exercise enough. Not only that, but they didn't consider their day-to-day -day work or activity exercise. However, once the study participants were told that all of these pushing of their carts and the vacuuming and the lifting the mattresses, once they were told that, by the way, this counts as exercise every single day, and if you're doing this all day long, you're getting great exercise, just that mental switch of how they thought about the exercise improved weight, improved blood pressure, and changed their body fat over the course of four weeks. 